When you open a case file from the Manage Cases page, you will first be taken to the Case Summary tab. The Case Summary tab displays the date and time of the case, as well as the duration of the case. Any patient ID, medical record number, device ID, or unit ID will also be displayed at the top. The serial number of the device, the type of device, and the file name are also included to identify the file. If patient identification number is added, it can be edited here by clicking the Edit Patient Info. Information can be added and changes can be saved by clicking the Save Changes box. To change the patient age group from the default adult setting, use the drop down menu to select either pediatric or infant and designate that case file appropriately and save changes. Case features such as events that occur during the case, vital signs, waveforms and alarms are shown in the case features area. Any tags that have been added to the case, either automatically or manually, will be displayed in the tags area. Tags can be added by selecting the plus sign, entering a tag name, and saving. Tags can be removed from a case by selecting the X next to the appropriate tag. The next tab is the Performance Summary tab. The Performance Summary tab displays the case information at the top of the page for identification. The CPR Performance Summary and the CPR Summary sections display all of the data and metrics related to CPR performance that was transmitted directly from the device. The Playback tab allows the user to see the code in its entirety. The Event Timeline on the left displays all events in chronological order beginning at the time the device was powered on. This information includes all of the events recorded by the device and any annotations that have been added to the case by the user. The ECG Overview displays the entire ECG tracing retrieved from the device. Vital signs are displayed in the vitals area. The user can review the entire code by using the playback function. By selecting the play blue arrow, the entirety of the code, including the ECG, the CPR bar if selected, and any other waveform selected begin to play in real time. To stop the recording, hit the pause button. The CPR Zoom tab allows the user to select and view a particular segment of the CPR quality graph. To see an expanded view of an area, you can click and drag a segment within the graph. These segments can then be clipped and saved using the Clip Segment box. Up to 10 segments can be saved and named. They can also be printed by using the print icon. 